morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Monday, it is blue sky out there, and actually not too cold. I ended up going out to do the school run just like this. Um, it's nearly nine o'clock. I was meant to be having a cup of tea and a walk with my friend Heidi, who made my camper van blinds for me and my curtain. Um, but she's not feeling too good. She's had this cold lurking and then, you know, she got wet over the weekend um, and is feeling pretty rubbish. So we're gonna do a virtual get together. We're gonna both have a cup of tea and sit down and catch up. I'm getting through the last few bits of the washing. I have bleached and scrubbed the sink and I'm gonna do all the fronts of the cupboards because they haven't been done for a while. Um, and also I need to bleach up the stairs a bit where the kids have put mucky fingerprints. Um, so there's just a few things I want to do, get all the laundry put away, um, run the hoover over, that kind of stuff. And then I need to finish editing the second walk video, or the second part of the walk video that Jackie and I did at the weekend. Um, so yeah, there's a few things to keep me occupied today. Kenzie is feeling rough again. It seems to be ever since he had COVID back in October, it's like every other week he seems to get poorly with some coldy type thing. I don't know if it's related to that or whether or not it is just that we are now all mixing and therefore getting bugs. But either way, he's got extra English to do today, so he's not finishing school till five. Um, it's a long day for him. He leaves the house at half seven and he's not gonna get home till like half five. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to make tea and hopefully you'll be all right. The washing machine is getting noisy, so that's my cue to stop talking. I'm just taking a break and having some breakfast. It is nearly 10 o'clock and I'm gonna meet my friend online for an online get together in about five minutes. It's now about 20 to 12 and I have just spent the last hour and a half, I think, chatting with my friend Heidi um, online. Oh, we've got a bird fight going on outside my window. Whoa, chill your boots. Um, <laughs> fighting over the bird feeder despite the fact there's three feeders on there you know um yes i've been having a lovely video chat with my friend heidi putting the world to rights having some lovely conversations we always have a lot of not just chat about what's going on in our personal lives but we chat about things um you know actual meaningful things so i always come away from a conversation with her feeling um what's the word i can't think of the word i mean i've always enjoyed our conversation but just a little bit wiser maybe like we've yeah a little bit wiser maybe that's what it is like we've discussed something of worth not that our lives are not of worth if that, i'm really not i'm making a hash of this aren't i <laughs> it's always nice to talk about our families and that kind of thing but it's also and what's going on in the in our lives but it's also nice to sometimes touch on a deeper subject um and think about that subject and by discussing it with somebody you are um learning and opening your mind i think is what i'm trying to say anyway i'll stop waffling because i'm clearly not doing a very good job of articulating um, I want to show you my front garden. Yesterday, I didn't vlog yesterday because I was editing the walk video. Um, I do still have the other half of that to do, which I think I've already mentioned. But I want to go out and show you what I did in the garden. If these birds will just stop fighting for two minutes. Um, I've, I've done various things. I've put some things in pots. I've planted up the two plants that I bought last week at the garden centre. Um, and I've also, I found that my fig plant had a tree growing with it and the tree was getting quite big and I needed to separate them 
and I wasn't sure how to do it. Brendan helped me. We literally just took it out and I'm hoping that the fig will be okay and that the tree will be okay. And the fact that we have messed with the root ball and what have you and taken it out of its pot is not going to be too traumatic for it. Um, but we'll see. Well, I'm just really hoping it'll be okay. But I've repotted them back up and watered them and what have you. The one thing I didn't have enough of was compost. I would have liked to have completely changed the compost in the um, fig tree pot. But as it was, I was having to use the old compost and compost from another old planter. And I noticed that in with the fig tree, there were lots of little grubs. Now, I don't know if they're nasty grubs. I don't think they're things like vine weevils or anything like that. I don't think they're anything like that because they would be particularly nasty and would eat the roots. Um, but it might be that later on in the year that I mess with it again and completely change the compost that's in the pot and dispose of that compost. Some of the, the grubs I threw out onto the stones thinking that the birds would come and eat them. But part of me was also, I don't know what these grubs are and they could be really important beetles and what have you that would not destroy the plant but that would be really good for the ecosystem in their own way and so i didn't want to dispose of them all in case they were you know beneficial to to the ecosystem um so yeah i don't know i guess we'll find out won't we if the plant has no roots left i'll find out they were vine weevil larvae and and <laughs> should have got rid of them but yeah, I'm just talking you through what I'm thinking here and you don't need to hear it all. So I'm going to go and show you the garden. Oh dear, something has dug up my plant. That'll be a bird maybe. Oh dear. Thanks for that bird. Gonna have to rethink that. <sighs> okay. The last load of washing is done, so I'm going to put that in the tumble dryer and take that stuff out of the tumble dryer and fold it. I have bleached all the cupboards and kickboards, cleaned the fronts of the appliances. I've washed all of this wall here and all of this, scrubbed all under there with bleach. Um, and yes, I need to, I think it's a dust, a layer of dust just keeps settling on this. Um, but I've also cleaned that and used the scraper to get as much off as I can from the stuff that just sort of sticks on when you've been cooking. Um, and then I need to hoover as well. That's the other job I need to do. Look, you can see Kenzie was cooking here yesterday because there's stuff all over my chairs. So I need to hoover those as well. I've hoovered the stairs. I've scrubbed the walls, bleached the banisters, wiped some of these walls as well. Just where the muck gathers, especially when the kids wash their hands, but don't actually wash their hands. They, you know, just get them wet and then the muck spreads off down the stairs as they run their hands down the stairs. Um, just done around the bottom of the door as well, because that gets very grubby. Skirting boards, that kind of thing. Um, we've hoovered. Place is still a bit untidy. I haven't dusted, but I'm working my way through the jobs at the moment. But I'm doing more of the jobs that I don't do very often, things like you know, bleaching walls and skirting boards and cupboards and that kind of thing. I'm just trying to change the bulb on my salt lamp, um, which my dad accidentally knocked off the side um, a few weeks back at Kenzie's birthday, I think it was. Um, and I noticed that the bulb's actually smashed inside. So I've now got bits of glass all over my sofa. And it also means that I can't get this out. And somebody hasn't put my pincer snips um, back in my toolkit so I'm gonna to have to jimmy my little adjustable spanner and see if I can use that to twist that out but I don't think it's gonna fit oh 
Nope, that did it. Whoa. So I'm going to tip this upside down into a bin and then hoover up the last little shards. They're very, very thin. Changed the bulb and it's still not working. So I'm going in, I'm going to change the fuse and hopefully that will solve the problem. Annoyingly, this lamp doesn't have one of those, you know, quick release fuse um, bits on the plug where you can just pop it out and put a new one in. I have to unscrew the whole thing, but never mind. Whoa. Get this fuse out, put the new fuse in. Come out to your what's it. So you want a flat head screwdriver. <laughs> Come on. I don't know if they're still taught to change fuses at school. I remember that was a fun lesson, rewiring a plug and changing fuses. That was a lesson I liked. Let's put that over there. And hopefully, as if by magic, I'll be able to make it work again. Why is that one not going in? Why are you not going in? That's not encouraging. <laughs> this doesn't want to screw in. So those bottom screws came out really easily and now they're uh, staying out. I think it's that thing there is the problem. Is that what that screws into? Oh, okay, right. So that only screws into that. That doesn't hold the bottom on. There was only one screw holding the bottom on. Right, I thought that was part of the plate, but clearly it's not. My bad. That just holds the wire in place. Look, it's that little white, white tab that holds the wire there. That's what those screws were for. Didn't need to undo those. Dope. Let's give it a go, shall we? have light it's fixed i'm going through the laundry stuff that has been washed and dried and folded um this is our lovely new bedding we bought from dunelm um which is lovely but it is shedding quite a lot i did run the hoover over it yesterday but <coughs> we're literally eating fluff every time we move i'm gonna go and run myself a bath while the hoover er uh, what's the word i'm looking for charges and then I can hoover up here and probably hoover this again. Uh, but for right now, I need to gather up some clothes and go run myself a bath. Because I've got grubby hair and I'm all sweaty from doing housework. And then I need to go do the school run. Beautiful sunny day. Cold wind though. That's better. Been to the park. It is cold, but it's not as cold as it has been. I was out in this. My hands are cold, but my body was okay. But I did do laps of the park um, to keep my blood flowing, keep me warm. Um, I've had a really good run around. I've got Malone and Llewellyn still playing in the garden and Chris has come in to watch a bit of Pokemon on the telly. In the next 45 minutes, they will all have gone home. But... Um, in the next 10 minutes, probably 10, 15 minutes, we'll have the doorbell going and they'll sort of go home one by one. Kenzie has extra maths today. He messaged me and said he still wasn't feeling great, but um, he was staying, which I'm pleased about, that he's staying to do his extra. No, not maths. I keep saying maths. It's not. He's got extra English lessons. So Lee will be picking him up. He should literally be finishing that in the next five minutes and then Lee should be picking him up really soon. 
um, and then they'll be home. So I'm going to get the oven on and put some chicken. What's the word I'm looking for? Chicken, tempura chicken. And I think I'll just put some chips and stuff in, not the healthiest. I might see if we've got some roast potatoes because it's chip day on Wednesday. Um, it's the fish and chip van coming to the village on Wednesday. So ideally, I don't really want to dish up chips today, especially because also on Friday, when I'm up in the Lake District with Dowling Keith, we're having fish and chips for dinner because we're going to be sort of coastal area. So, um, yeah, I, I shouldn't really have three lots of chips in a week. Otherwise, my trousers won't fit. So I'm going to get the oven on and get the tempura chicken ready. I've just had a FedEx parcel arrive and I'm pretty certain these are the spare parts for Brendan's um, filament extruder and winder. This was his birthday present we all chipped in. Expensive bit of kit to recycle all of the plastic that doesn't get used for the models but is used for the um, support material when he does his 3D printing. And so when his present arrived from America, the box was open and there were parts missing. So we contacted the company or he contacted the company and asked them for a part sheet, which they've sent him. And they've worked out which pieces are missing. And I think this is what this is. I don't think he had an email in reply, but, but we had this parcel arrive. So um, that's really encouraging. Um, I'm going to wait till he gets home and then he can open it and hopefully that's what it is. Charles gave me some chocolates the other day. Nice. You haven't done a survey. He gave me off-brand Aldi stuff. That's nice. No brandy. He gave me off-brand uh... off Snickers called uh, Racers. Oh, are they? And uh, Snack Right Crisps. Snack Right. Oh yeah, we have those in the cupboard. So I, gave them to, I gave them to Aldi because I bought a pack with me to school. Oh, that's kind of him. We're all eating together, which doesn't often happen in the middle of the week unless we're having fish and chips, does it? Mm -hmm. mm. It's nice. Are we having Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Off, 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 off. Yes. I just did my sign off, and when I went to edit it, my opening um, to ca piece the camera, I looked terrified. I was like a robot, and I sounded funny. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so I'm redoing it. Um, the one thing that I didn't actually say in my last clip to you, which I have remembered since filming it, is that I've had a few more parcels for the um, Ukraine um, support uh, collection. I will go through those tomorrow and thank people on my vlog tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take my link down for a little bit just because... That way we have chance for things to get to where they need to be and then start collecting again because I know that the main depots and stuff that were getting stuff out were quite full at the end of the weekend. Um, but obviously this is going to be an ongoing thing, unfortunately. So I suspect we will, you know, I'll put the link up a few times and collect and take to, to centres. But I'm just going to put a pause on it for a week. Um, and then reassess when I hear otherwise, when I, you know, they start calling out for stuff again. Um, but an ongoing thank you to all of you who have supported in one way or another. But for now, I'm going to get this video edited so that I can go upstairs and watch Young Sheldon and I think The Rookie as well tonight. Um, and then read some of my book. I'm currently reading the Third Septimus Heap book. And I've not been getting very far with it because uh, we've been watching a lot of Blacklist. Thanks to Daryl from Camper Van Tales, it's totally his fault. Speaking of Camper Van Tales, I will be away with them this weekend from Thursday night until Monday sometimes. I'm doing a long weekend away with them. So we have quite a lot of fun van life videos coming at the end of the week. But again, I don't know whether we will be in a position where there's any Wi-Fi. I suspect not. So it might be that there are no videos over the weekend from me. Um, so I'm just putting it out there. Nothing drastic will have happened. It's just that I will be in a remote place um, and probably unlikely to upload. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.